welcome to Jay and Kenya's weight loss journey. This is episode six, real life. Um, today we're gonna be talking about let's hit on exercise. Hold on, I just wanted to say, how y'all like my hair? <laughs> special, special, whatever. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let's first start with exercise and physical activity on today. Um, I did 50, I averaged 55 minutes of exercise and um, that's per day. So almost an hour, totally way above my goal. Steps, I got in 8,623 steps. Last week I got more steps in, I got 9,900 steps in. Per week, per day? Per day. So my goal, upcoming goal is going to be 10,000 steps per day. So just try to, that, that's what, I want that to be my average. And um, doing some strengthening also, like two days of strengthening, floor exercises, sit-ups, push-ups, things like that. Okay, how about you? Uh, I average about 9,500 steps a day. Um, increased my steps by 3,000 from last week. Uh, of course, I met this goal. I averaged about 108 minutes of activity per day. Uh, new activity, uh, I increased my time overall. Last week it was 3 hours and 45 minutes. This week it was 5 hours and 55 minutes of uh, physical activity. Um, so I met that, but it was like a moderate, you know, I spent more time on the treadmill, on the bike, um, as far as activity, so it wasn't like fast pacing or like that. I incorporated some HIIT training um, exercises, and HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Incorporate short bursts of intense activity, altered by lower intensity exercises. So I'm on a treadmill, I'm doing 3.0 to 3.5 miles. And basically I increase the intensity up to like five miles per hour. So there's some spurts of jogging or running, whichever way you want to call it. But as long as you're increasing the intensity, you can do 30 seconds. Maybe you're on the treadmill and you're walking on an incline and then you 30 seconds of low intensity where you're not on an incline. There's a, there's a lot of benefits to it doing a hit program. It burns more fat, particularly the visceral fat, which is the fat around our stomach and uh, you know, our organs, which is really important um, for those that's trying to prevent diabetes, high blood pressure, sleep apnea, um, high cholesterol. I know a lot of clients will ask me, they're like, how do I get rid of the stomach? Well, that's going to incorporate a couple of things. Of course, changing your dietary habits to uh, lower calorie, low carbohydrate lifestyle, but also to um, include the exercises. And HIT is probably one of the best ways to do that. For men, you want to have, you guys want to have a waist circumference of less than 40 inches. Okay, to prevent health, um, different health conditions. And for women, we want to have our waist circumference of less than 35 inches. Other things that um, benefits for HIIT training, you sweat more. Um, yeah, I ain't sweat a lot this week. I sweat <laughs> quite a bit more than I did um, last week. You uh, you have an increased heart rate during the workout activity. Um, and a lower heart rate during like rest, a lowering resting heart rate. The, the um, added benefits is also having a shorter workout duration compared to like a moderate intensity exercise, if you're doing like 40 minutes, maybe of uh, moderate intensity, just walking, you can cut that down by half by doing HIIT training. Okay, you can do like 20 minutes of HIIT training. Um, you can burn way more calories and burn more fat. Can you get that from stretch? Like stretching or like, uh, like uh, sit-ups, push-ups, I mean, yeah, okay, stretching, stretching, probably not because it's got to be high intensity. Oh, okay. 
the focus of HIIT training is that you are increasing the interval um, to something more intense and then you're having shorter um, rest periods from what you're typically doing. So like me, I like the one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're gonna do one maybe minute or even 30 seconds of your you know moderate or lower intensity, but then you go with something that's gonna be more intense for that next um, part of the ratio with the 30 minutes or 30 seconds or one minute, or just increasing the pace of your walking since you like to walk on a treadmill. Does that help? You have an increased metabolism. You can um, decrease your blood sugar and your blood pressure. So, I mean, dude, there's like a lot of benefits to HIIT. But if you don't control your diet, then all this HIIT or, you know, exercise ain't really gonna be. And that's right, so that brings us into our next section, dietary behaviors. So, for me, this week, um, I totally blew up this, <laughs> this section. Once again, so females, we're here, okay? Excuses. Whatever. So and, unless you have a menstrual cycle, uh, you won't it. know. So you just I ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay. Yeah. So women who deals with menstrual cycles during this time of the month, we have more cravings. Okay? Our hormones are all out of whack. And so those, that's one of the things I have to realize, like I know when it's about to come on, but it's still um, some behavior changes that has to be done. For this week, my daily caloric intake was 2,128 calories per day. Last week, I averaged 1,755 calories per day. Carbs were 120 grams this week on average and last week was 71. Sodium was 3,088 milligrams yeah, this week, and 2,220 milligrams last week. Is 3,000 uh, sodium or 3,000, was that good? Um, so according to the American Heart Association, no. we shouldn't be getting more than 23 Hundred milligrams fries, a day, fries. and I had over three thousand. The McDonald's fries I got with that salt did help it. Okay, probably not. American Heart Association says twenty-three hundred, but they really recommend fifteen hundred um, to try to stay around that range. So, but how about you? Uh, for me, um, <laughs> I had 2,000 calories for like the last three weeks. Um, you had 2,000 calories for the last three that, weeks. That's supposed to actually maintain. Okay. Per, but uh, 2,000 calories per day, nah, nah, I didn't meet none of that. Uh, 150 calories is what I supposed to actually, uh, I mean, carbohydrates is what I supposed to actually did, 2,000 calories. Uh, I didn't meet none of that. I know I supposed to weigh eat my food, nah. At, at time consuming, and I didn't take the effort to weigh my food. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, however, I didn't eat my two meals a day at home, which I suppose I actually do. Um, and that created a lot of problems because I ate out, I ate Chinese one day, I ate um, Southwestern egg rolls another day. Um, I just, I ate a lot of foods out. Yeah, we did eat out quite a bit this week. Um, uh, we just didn't prep meals well didn't prep, at didn't. all. Yeah, I didn't prep, so I really didn't. I didn't meet this goal at all. Um, and even though I increased my physical activity um, and my exercise, it didn't do. It didn't benefit me none because uh, I didn't stay consistent with uh, monitoring what I ate. Okay, mental behaviors. 
So for this week, my sleep average was seven hours and 18 minutes, and I didn't meet that goal. My goal is to be to try to get seven hours, um, it, and I did improve from last week. I um, do want to do some deep breathing exercises, and my Samsung Health app on my phone has deep, deep breathing exercises where you inhale for five seconds, and then you exhale for five seconds. And also have some meditating music too that you know can help with stress relief. Um, I was at six hours and fifty minutes for the most part per week. I mean per day. Um, I actually think it hurt to get more rest um, because I was more sluggish, uh, lost time. You know, because I, I I went to bed late, woke up uh, late in the morning, so it was like I didn't have a chance to exercise in the morning. When I did get up, I was still sluggish, not as energized. Spiritual behaviors? Uh, spiritual behavior, uh, behaviors, I uh, met three days this week as far as I uh, didn't meet this goal. Uh, three days I actually spent as far as um, listening to my Bible app. Um, I listened to a couple of sermons. I didn't incorporate this during my workout even though I spent more time in that activity. Um, I did pray uh, each morning when I woke up. But I didn't, I don't feel I met this goal for the the time uh, in my Bible app, that shit. Um, so for me, the spiritual, um, it actually helped my mental behaviors, uh, my physical activity, my praying, uh, my sleep, it definitely did help um, me mentally with some stressors. But spiritually, I just want to be able to read my Bible daily. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be my goal for this coming up. Just really focus on reading more of, of the Bible. More intimate time is what I actually Yeah, basically. that's right. Yeah. I think so. More, more intimate time. Behavior modifications. So, for me, measuring, I've been doing really well with measuring and, and tracking and everything like that. So, the main behavior this week I'm gonna try to do is to drink one sixteen. 0.9 ounce bottle of water, maybe 30 minutes before I eat. Well, I've been staying away from my, my behavior modification was to stay away from locations, uh, but I'm gonna adjust that. Uh, I've been doing pretty good for staying away from locations, uh, but at the same time, the times I eat have not been great. You know, I've been eating late lunches, uh, two, two, three o'clock, been eating late dinners. Uh, so I'm gonna try to incorporate um, eating my meals at, at certain times for when I eat my meals. Mm -hmm. um, and if I don't eat those meals at those times, then I will just get a snack. I like snack and don't actually try to compensate for it later on. Um, so that's the adjustment I'm gonna make as far as a behavior change this week that I think we're gonna for. So. All right, now it's time for the couples challenge. Okay, let's recap last week, Jay's weight was 307.2 pounds. Last week, my weight was 169.2 pounds. This week, Jay's weight was? Too much. 309.8 pounds. Yeah. And my weight was? Much 170.4 pounds. Wah, wah, wah. So, yeah, we both did terrible. <laughs> All right, so Jay gained 2.6 pounds, I which is 0.8% of his body weight. And that's folks. And I gained 1.2 pounds, which was 0.7% of my body weight. Bring in the $20 weekly, each person. Put it in the pot, put it in the pot. All right. So, the penalty. We both gained weight. We did not lose the weight <laughs> this week. So we're gonna put our $10 into the pot. I feel better though. I, I feel better for the week. Even though I, I didn't win, my body feels better though. 
Well, I, you know, and I do too. too. So, supported. Okay, but, so the pot is currently it's getting bigger, you guys. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140 dollars. 140. Nobody wins a reward this week. What? Nobody gets a reward besides the pot. The pot just builds up even more. So some of the things that um, I noticed could be, like I said, the monthly. Um, I did incorporate my weights and, you know, in my mind, I just said, forget it. I'm going to do my weights and, you know, even if it, you know, may show more on the scale, I'm okay with that. And that's what I had to be okay with. And I'm going to continue to be okay with it because I know I look slim, more uh, slimmer. I tone up more and yeah, look at these guns. <laughs> more like pea shoes. Just saying. I don't know what a pea shooter is, but we're gonna Sorry. we're gonna move on. Sorry, you know what a pea shooter is. But... So anyway, <laughs> um I did feel better this week also um with doing the physical activity. So I'm just gonna be consistent and continue doing what I know. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel to receive those notifications. Just hit that subscribe button down below. Um, also leave comments. We like your feedback on topics that you would like for us to discuss. Yeah, let us know what you, you know, what you think. I mean, what, whatever you struggle with, I'm pretty sure I struggle with or dealt with. Um, if you got any um, suggestions reference to things to do, because it's sometimes it. kind of hard to, you know, you want to get outside input. Um, so just, just let me know what might have worked for you. And it might help me uh, figure out how to adjust things through my day. Okay, good. Um, next week, we're going to be talking about setting SMART goals. So stay tuned for next week. And thank you guys for watching. I better write it down. <laughs> Bye, guys.